What is going on guys? We are back for another DSP video and he's been caught yet again exposed this time for view botted on his Fallout 4 playthrough that he started on Wednesday night. Now on Thursday, a patch comes out so you can play the PS5 slash Xbox series version of it. But DSP wants to be ahead of them. So he decided to play it Wednesday night before the patch came out. And then he's going to pick it up after when the patch drops. Of course, Phil being the great businessman that he is, starts out the playthrough on Wednesday. The patch comes out Thursday, which is his day off, so you can't get those day one views. Then I know what you're thinking, maybe you'll pick it up Friday. No, he's playing another Crab's Treasure and Street Fighter 6. However, Saturday, the day stream will be Fallout 4, which he calls Newly Patched. That is right, he decided to start on Wednesday night so he could get ahead of everyone, then take two days off as the patch drops, which means Thursday and Friday, the algorithm for Fallout is going to be overloaded with Fallout 4 content with the new patch. He's going to start it up on Saturday and go, What the hell guys? Where is everyone? Why is no one supporting? Because DSP is always late to the party and does stuff way after the fact, after it's not popular anymore. So we start off Wednesday night. He got $20 for his first stream of Fallout 4. Pre-patch by the way. And look at that, 214 thumbs down, 140 thumbs up, and $10 of that $20 came from one person. And I thought this was funny, it's from Lord Diaz, looking ghoulish, and shows Phil's face over a ghoul. And on the screen it says, Fall Gout. Then we have this here, Trigger Point, guy who says he doesn't play games for money by the way. So DSP tweets this out, My Fallout 4 playthrough is actually hitting the YouTube algorithm and getting some views. It's been years since this happened on DSP Gaming. Check out the start here and it continues this weekend. Enjoy. Now before I show you the next part of this, keep in mind DSP always says if I can just get one video into the algorithm it'll boost me up in the search results. It can put me back in prominent places. And he always talks about this playthrough, this video could be the one that breaks into the algorithm. Then we see Fallout 4 Part 1, 60 frames of nuclear fun. Time for a new modern run Part 1 Fallout 4. And as you can see it has 14k views. Now keep in mind, a lot of his Part 1's have like 1 to 2,000 views. This one has 14 in 10 hours. Then you see the drop off. We got Part 2 at 890 views. So from 14k to 890 views. And by the way, they were also published at the same time as well. Then the outsider points this out. 6% retention rate from part 1 to part 2. That's a record drop off. God damn. Then Phil Callens points this out. It's just people thinking it's the update, realizing it's not, and leaving. LOL. Renting Liar. Watch how he retains no viewers from this algorithm boost. Successful business, by the way. Laughing my fucking ass off. Then in another place says this. Maybe it's your clickbait title that suggests you're playing the remaster when you're actually started playing the old game to switch tomorrow. Although fair play for actually managing to do that for once. It won't last though. And now he's up to 18k in 11 hours. And they have rented again. I've never seen someone so bad at their job. DSP starts his follow up playthrough a day before the big update everyone wants to see. What a fucking clown. Then Poems adds on to that. He did it to chase the search algorithm. Notice he put 60 frames in the title. Today is his day off and he's going to be days late. Yeah, he's going to be playing another Crab's Treasure. Two days this week, Fallout one day. Then at the bottom, crazy how this day off is more important than streaming the new update. He just laid it on the couch playing WWE Champions while cats of beast thumbs fumble through some video game. And we have Banana Jones. This is the most obvious view button ever, laughing my fucking ass off. And you can see now in 13 hours, he's got 21k views. Now if you notice too, 160 thumbs up, 310 thumbs down. Now if you notice at the bottom, 36 comments. So you're telling me in a 21k video, you have 160 thumbs up, 310 thumbs down, and only 36 comments? That doesn't look suspicious at all, Phil. Then we have Duty. 
so it looks like the dents are view bottom fills fog out playthrough. First video got 21k but only 155 likes. Second video got 1k with 21 likes, both published at the same time. Pathetic Phil. So we see part 1 is up to 21,345 and the second one is up to 1,178 and we have Hydro here. Phil if you're gonna bot your views you need to start off slow. Maybe buy 1k or 2k to start off slowly, increase upload to upload. You can't just buy 15 to 20k views and expect us all to believe it. And we got Dark Sea to Flow. 36 comments on 19k views for Phil's viral Fall Gout 4 thing. Then he also puts this out. Just as a comparison, here are a few recently released detractor videos with similar or less views, but normal levels of good engagement. And yet Phil only got 36 comments on a 19k view video. Did he only pay for the views but forgot to buy comment bots? Then he shows off some detractor videos. Oh and look at that, we're the first one here guys, that's us right there. And you see my video, 4.4k views, 155 comments, 181 thumbs up. Then we have duty streams, 5.8k views, 291 thumbs up, 132 comments. Then we have Agent Proper, 6.6k views, 439 thumbs up, 192 comments. We got James the Lesser Express Lane, 3.3k views, 118 comments, 185 thumbs up. And we have Taken L's. This troll owned non vortex related YouTube channel has 400 subs. This is what a failed creator looks like according to DSP. So we see April 4th, 2024. 101,000 views, 160 comments, 99.1% like ratio, and 6,460 likes. Then Poems put this out. The best part of Fall Gout, hidden the algorithm, is that the stream was legit some of his worst day one content he's ever done. He's creating his own hell chasing all these trending topics and I'm here for it, crying emoji. Yeah, before he was like, I'm not like other streamers, I don't do the hot fads, I don't chase these things. What is he doing? All the hot fads chasing things, trying to get into algorithm. But Phil, it's not going to work. You're way too late on everything. David Davidson adds on. He'll try to milk it and say it's bringing in new viewers. But man, this just isn't happening. The drop from part 1 to part 2 makes me think the average view time was 5 minutes or less for the first part. Yeah, this stream was absolutely horrible. Typically the intro for this game takes about 20 to 30 minutes maybe if you're taking your time. It took him almost 3 hours. Cause he would go around the house, look at every single wall, he was even looking at pipes. So he'd go in the laundry room, oh look at these pipes, they're so old. And then tell a story about how they used those pipes back in the day. Then he'd go to the bookshelf, oh let's see what kind of books they have on the bookshelf. And read every single book. Go to the fridge, oh let's see what they have in the fridge. Why would you have this in the fridge? Oh look at they have this in the fridge, we gotta get this in the fridge. And he would look at every single thing on the wall and it was it was actually irritating me. And we have James. If I told you a streamer took 3 hours to play the first 20 minutes of Fallout 4, would that sound like fun and meaningful content you'd want to watch? And then I pointed this out on April 24th. Remember, whenever one of his fans gets doxxed or some drama happens, his fans always wail out on him to distract and try to control the narrative. Yeah, Cause at this point he's just throwing things at the wall and see what sticks. And then I went back to that April 25th after all this happened. Now he is view botting his follow up 4 playthrough to get into the YouTube algorithm so he can find a whale to replace one minute man. And Darcy points this out. This guy is clearly buying 1000 subs every month or so and wouldn't surprise me if he bought those views too. Now keep in mind it could be OIC because I don't think Phil's smart enough to even know how to buy stuff. But yeah that's very suspicious even though Social Blade likes around things. There's no way he's getting that every other month or so. Look at, it's almost if you look at on the chart where it says a thousand and you go across, it's almost a straight line there. It never goes above a thousand and always goes down to zero, then up to a thousand, down to zero, up to a thousand. There's no in between, which is very suspicious. And we have Psycho. Prepare your butts for an ego boosted pig roach on tomorrow's show. That is right. He is going to be all over the place, he's going to be over the moon, he's going to be laughing saying detractors can suck it because he's back in the algorithm. People love his playthrough. 
and then views on every single part are gonna go down and down and down and he's gonna go what happened guys I thought you liked this but remember he's the successful businessman with one minute man gone oh I see you better pick up the slack you and uh, Dan the den over there who spent a hundred dollars the other day so guys if you like that click that like Share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.